so we are here today with the new Slam Crate unboxing, as you can tell by the box. The theme for this Slam Crate is stables. I don't know if you're talking about just WWE stables or just, you know, stables from like other promotions like they bought and stuff. So we're just going to find out, I guess. We're going to, first off, before we go to what exactly is in here, we're going to go through, like, go through the manual book. Like, not manual book, but... You know, it helps us, like, it tells exactly what the content, like, we're about to get is. And I'm just gonna, so I start opening up then. Uh, I guess I'll start with the Triple H. Yeah, it's pretty similar. It's, I think it's the same type of room. So, Blue Crate is... I'm gonna look here and see what it's called. You know, I, we got a Stone Cold one last one. You know, it's still over here. You know, I saw the other Slam Crate stuff over here, you know. Stuff I don't really care about, like you know, I can I don't really use some of the things I say, but kind of with some things they have. Where is like, I don't know, I'm trying to find like where they say like what everything is and stuff, but alright, never, I picked the wrong, wrong thing. It's just like the book comes in the table. Go through here, I'm pretty sure I dropped something, but. And this is a call, the uh, second. Okay, there it is. The exclusive WWE Slam Star Triple H collectible figure, you know. I don't really know what I'm going to use for you. I don't really care about the Slam Star collectible figure or whatever. But I'm going to, you know, this is just Triple H. It's pretty, probably similar, similar to the Stone Cold one, which right here, I'll uh, open it up. If you guys want to do a review of these, just comment down this video or past slam crates hey you need to do a review on these I will do a review on this but for now I'm just gonna show you that I got it there you go put over here oh yeah I'll just talk about this this is the stables bug oil collectible it's like a mini WWE encyclopedia like something you probably hear of the encyclopedia like WWE encyclopedia but you know, it's in here got the white family we're just gonna show you a few stables on your white family which is Cool, you know, I like a lot of things. And we got some matches and stuff. You know. We also got the shield, you know. Back when I started watching wrestling, like probably a year or two after I started watching this shield was a big thing. It was like they formed like right after I started watching wrestling. And we also got it. the four horsemen, the legendary, you know, one old school there. New Day, of course. New Day's iconic stable, too. Never thought I'd say that. I mean, like, two or three years ago when they debuted, I would have never said they were one of the best stables in WWE history. Never. I would never have thought that. You guys said I would just be laughing. I was laughing at you. But, no, now, it's true. So, this is... We're going to look through here. We do reference... Reference this... It is, this is a, gosh, okay, it is a New Day foam figure, finger, I don't say figure, finger, okay, it's kind of cool, though. man, New Day has so much merchandise these days, now. don't know if I'm going to open it or not, but, very just a, I'm going to use it, like, maybe if I get, like, a show, no show, like, money in the bank, money in the bank, unfortunately, my video got deleted, you know, WWE blocked it, and I'm just, I can't do anything about it, I tried, I tried to do some editing, like try to add some new clips in it, but I don't think it worked out too well, so, if you guys wonder where my Money in the Bank video is, I was there, but the, it was deleted after a couple days, it was, sorry guys, but, there, there you got these Bray White socks, which is kind of cool, you know, definitely gonna rock these Bray White socks, you know, Review these a little bit. Got follow the buzzards. Let's put them up here, I guess. Follow the buzzards. It's cool. Definitely gonna wear these. I don't care where I am. I'm just gonna wear my Bray Wyatt socks. And then the last, well, no, not the last thing. Before we go to the last thing, we got the new, 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 new World Order World Heavyweight Championship. Pin, you know, they always give you one of these pins. It's probably the best one they've had, you know, NWO. 
championship pin. It's cool. So right here. And now the last thing is the legit boss money in the bank. Not money. In the, oh, I said money in the bank. A bit legit boss Sasha Banks t-shirt. You know, nice shirt. I'm a little surprised why would they put a Sasha Banks t-shirt in uh, stables. Why would they do that? Like, she's not, well, she was like in the four horse woman, but, you know, I wouldn't technically call that one of the greatest stables of all time. If I was in, I'd put like an NWO shirt on there. Like, some people might, I have an NWO shirt already, but you would, it would just be more of a, like, do like a New Day shirt or something. Or, yeah, just do like one of the greatest stables, like, a white family shirt or something, but hey, I'll take a Sasha Banks shirt. I never had a Sasha Banks shirt until this slam crown box. So, you know what? I'm okay, man, but it's a little confusing to me. Okay, so this is everything in the slam crate. You got the legit boss t shirt, the NWO pin, the Triple H slam star figure. You got the Bray Wyatt socks, and you got the New Day foam finger. And that is it for today's no this slam crate like we give it every other month i can't wait for the next one you know i think they get better like some place some areas get worse but you know i'll take whatever i got i'll use some of these things like the new day foam and finger and the socks i'll need some socks and very wild i'll wear some very wide socks so that's it thanks for watching i'll see you all in my next video